as you can see, it's a lovely day outside, but that's okay, because today I'm gonna be sharing some of the hacks and features of my bike trailer build. So if you're creating a bike trailer or cart, you can use these hacks because they're pretty much universal and crucial to be able to achieve a custom cart that you don't have to weld. You can just use conduit and connectors, but you do have to solve a few problems. And I'm gonna share with you how I solve them and some community examples so you too can make a bike trailer and solve those same problems. We'll start back here on the back with the main part of the frame. Now I made basically a large version of the kayak carts that I've seen from Nancy and Axel and plenty of other people in the community. And the reason I did that was because it's going to carry a kayak to the lake. And so it's basically just a big triangle. The kayak sits on top and I'm able to pull the cart with my bike. And then inside I added some of this vinyl fencing from Lowe's to create a basket. And I was able to haul some gear in here and it worked well. It doesn't look that great because I had to cut up the fencing and I would definitely do it in a better way next time. Uh, I basically cut two triangle panels, did it on the outside, then on this side, and then did one long panel in the middle and then just zip tied the heck out of it all over the place, as you can see. Not the prettiest thing, but it's functional. It's surprisingly strong. You know, I can put some gear and stuff in here and it hasn't ripped through yet, which is great. And then the other accessory that I added was the foam insulation around the pipes. And this just kind of helped protect the kayak and just add a barrier between the kayak and the pipes in the build. And something too I noticed was the kayak, if it would shift at all, it would cause this to roll off. So one thing I need to add is zip ties around this, just you know, tighten really tight on there and kind of hold the, the foam in place. That's something I wanted to mention in case you're doing something similar. I definitely recommend it. You can see this one fell off. We've got it in the, the garage over there, but haven't put it on back yet. Um, but anyway, that was a couple of accessories that I did. We've seen all kinds of other clever things in the community like Axel's beach cart. He just strategically used the pipes in his cart to be able to hold a cooler. He custom made it where it would just hold that cooler perfectly in there. And then we saw Tim's beach cart that was made to hold all kinds of stuff, the beach gear, uh, you know, chairs and all that kind of stuff. And it was really awesome to see all kinds of cool stuff incorporated into it, like the vinyl planks that he used for the, the, the base of it. Then he used some fencing material for the outer edges and the panels as well. That's where I got the idea for this. And uh, it was just really cool. We've seen all kinds of custom possibilities and you can do that too. You can make this custom exactly to your needs. And two of the biggest hacks that you're gonna need to be able to do that are the wheels. You need something that, you know, it's got a roll obviously. And we did a, a tutorial a couple years ago for adding wheels to maker pipe builds. And we used uh, PEX tubing as the shim between the threaded rod and the conduit axle. But you, what you wanna do, and this comes from Axel in his tutorial, you just wanna use half inch PE tubing. It worked really well. It worked much better than the PEX tubing. So shout out to Axel for sharing that. And basically it's just a 5 8 inch threaded rod. There is a, a washer and a nut on the outside here another washer on the inside of the wheel. That was something that I didn't mention in the first video tutorial as well, but you can kind of see in here uh, the axle that's up against the wheel. You kind of can't really see through the netting, but sits between the, the conduit and the, um, the connector and the uh, wheel. And you want to make sure that your wheels have 5 8 inch bearings. This is a Rubbermaid wheel, or both of these are Rubbermaid wheels. They came as a set. I think it was like $60 for both. And I think they're 22 inch wheels, but they're never flat. So it's just solid rubber and they've worked well so far on the trail, even in, you know, some bumpy areas and some rough terrain. And so I do recommend them, but they didn't have five eighths inch bearings in them. They had, I think three eighths. So they were too small. So I had to uh, use a hammer and a screwdriver to get the old bearings out. And then I had a specialty tool for putting the bearings back in, but you could just hammer them in. I just got to be careful. There's a video I'll link down below on how you can do it the DIY way. But you can also use some other wheels, just make sure they've got 5 8 inch bearings in them and you'll have no problem just following that tutorial uh, with just the PE tubing as the shim for the conduit and it rolls super smooth. I was surprised at how well and how smooth it worked, but it's super great. And that's the first major hack, you gotta make it roll. And then again, you've got to attach it to the bike. And we've explored different ways to do this in the past. We actually made a 3D printed custom uh, version a while back whenever we did the Kickstarter video. And it worked great, but it was kind of clunky and not really accessible to everybody unless you have a 3D printer. So whenever Tim shared his beach cart, he shared this neat universal hitch and picked it up, 
used it in this build and I'm super happy with it. It was like $12, super easy to use. This side adapted to the rear bike hub really easily. There's a black bracket that just secured on the rear bike hub. And then this side, there's like a little hook on the edge of the spring. And then there's a silicone tube inside. And basically the, the nut and bolt, or I guess just the bolt and washer here uh, on the outside of the conduit and the bolt goes all the way through and then has a nut on the other side and secures in place. And it, it pivots really well and just worked really awesome. I was really happy with it. One thing I noticed was the kayak, if it shifted forward, like going downhill, uh, I had to watch out and be careful because the weight of it would just kind of shift and put a lot of pressure on this joint. And that would cause the black bracket to rotate a bit and I'd have to tighten it up. Uh, so you just want to make sure that whenever you make a trailer, just like with the vehicle, that you want to load it properly. With this, it was basically just making sure the kayak was centered on the frame. And I didn't really think much about the, the tie down points, but we, did, we have seen some clever solutions for tie down points in the past from community members where you add like a tab to the the end of the threaded rod that's sticking out there, which is really cool. You could do something like that, but there's tons of possibilities and all kinds of cool things you guys can do with your custom carts and trailers. But these are some of the hacks and customization possibilities that you, you have options for, and you can totally make a car and trailer custom to your needs. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about my build, or if you want to see the step-by-step -step instructions, there'll be a link down below. And uh, of course, you can always reach out. I'm happy to answer any questions if you guys have them. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.